Hey y'all, I'ma head out. Wait, 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 wait. You can walk? You can see? Dog, you can talk? What the fuck? So, this kid falls in love with a beautiful girl. He goes to his dad. He says, Dad, I think I'm in love. I just met the greatest girl. And the dad goes, well, great. Who is it? He said, well, you know our neighbor's daughter, Susan, from up the street? Yeah, it's her. The dad goes, wish you hadn't said that. Um, don't tell your mom, but she's actually your sister. And so the kid can't date her and is naturally bummed out until a couple months later, he goes back to his dad even more excited. He says, Dad, I found a better girl. I'm in love. She's prettier. She's funnier. She's smart. We just, we, we, just, we click. And the dad goes, well, that's great, son. Who is it? He says, it's our neighbor's daughter, Angela, from up the street. And the dad says, okay, well, um, here's the thing. She's your sister, too, so you can't date her. And the kid's pissed off at this point. This happens five or six more times. And he goes to his mom crying. He says, mom, I can't date anyone because whoever I pick is dad's daughter, which makes him my sister. And the mom hugs her son, and she says, oh, you could date whoever you want. Don't worry. He's not your father. <laughs> oh, step on a crack, break your mom's back. I love my mom. Step on a crack break, a sex offender's back. Oh. <laughs> Chase me, Susie. Chase me. Yeah. Mm, good. Boo! <laughs> Made you jump. You want a piece of me? Yeah? Well, here you go then. Thanks. Hey kids, who's ready to draw? Me! 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 me, me. me. Okay then, draw! That's my boy. No, my boy! Father help! What's for dinner? My favorite! Let's get this party started! This is a swamble party. Yeah! yeah. Are you ready to die? No. Then I'll come back later. Oh, what kind of dog is he? He's French. With? When I grow up, I want to be a doctor, just like you. Aw, you're not gonna grow up. We've got you on camera. Well, I got you flowers. Uh. What's that guy doing? Oh, uh, that guy's schizophrenic. Right now, he's driving. Wait, so he really thinks he's driving? Yep, everything's real to him. What's he doing now? He just stepped into an elevator. Oh, What's wrong? It's gone. What is? My tarantula. Okay, was it in the jar when we left the house? Well, yeah, I was just feeding it. Doris, find the spider. Paul, I'm trying. Doris? Don't stress me, sweetie. Uh, where were you feeding it? On the sea. I have a phobia for spiders, you know this. Oh, just calm down. Oh, God. Oh, man. Look under your seat. Oh, Look under God. daddy's seat. Oh, man. It did. It's not there. Oh, Sweet. Does it have God. a name? What can we call it? Oh, man. Oh, God. Fred. Okay, oh, Fred. Fred. Oh, Fred. Give me your Fred. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, man. Oh, God. We finally found Fred and we've managed to put him back in the jar with chopsticks, which is how I was able to bring him here to show everyone today. Oh. What does A stand for? Arson. Oh, you're so good. Okay, B, what does B stand for? Barson. <laughs> what stands for C? Commit arson. Ooh. D. Don't come near me. I'm going to commit arson. <laughs> I raised her real well. A lawyer sits next to a blonde on a plane, and he really wants her to notice him, but she shows no interest. The lawyer's not used to being rejected, so he says, let's play a game. We go back and forth and ask each other questions, and if you don't know the answer, you give the person $5. The blonde isn't interested, and she declines. After 20 minutes of silence, the lawyer says, okay, let's play the same game, but if you miss a question, you give me $5. If I miss a question, I give you $300. The blonde is intrigued by the money, and she agrees. The lawyer smiles and asks her, what's the weight of the moon? The blonde says, I don't know, and gives him five dollars. And then she asks him, what goes up with two legs, and comes down with three? The lawyer doesn't know the answer to the question, but he doesn't want to admit it, so he spends the rest of the flight trying to figure it out. During this time, the blonde naps in peace. When the plane lands, the lawyer hands the blonde three hundred dollars. As they're getting off the plane, the lawyer runs up to her and says, please, what's the answer to the question? The blonde smiles, hands him five dollars, and calmly walks away. Here's the deal. I'll reveal to you who the killer is with hard evidence if you give me full immunity. I don't know. Well, I'm your only lead. <sighs> Fine. Full immunity. You're a free man. Who's the killer? Me. Fuck! So would you rather fight a gorilla 
or never be able to turn left. Uh, not turn left. What, what kind of question was that, dude? Okay, you're, you're weird, bro. I'm gonna get some food. What? Hey, hey, hey! What have you done? Change this! All right. Oh, thank God, bro. How did you? All right. Thanks again. Bye. You hang up first. No, you hang up first. No, you, no, 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 you hang up first. Listen, you hang up first. You hang up first. No, no, okay, ready? We're getting on the count of three, ready? One, two, three. All right, they're gonna send an ambulance. <laughs> Derek, why are you eating Skittles? Mom said I could have some as long as I didn't tell you that she was at the hotel with her boss. Wait, she's at the hotel with her boss? How the fuck did you figure that out? What do you mean, how did I figure it out? You just told me when I came in here and asked you why you were eating Skittles that your mom was at the hotel. Hello, Mom, he figured it out. That you're at the hotel with your boss. Yeah. No, he don't, he don't know about Uncle Rick. She's fucking Rick? He knows about Uncle Rick. He's so good. Loading basement. Oh my god, Kyle, where have you been? Two NPCs to my left. What did he say? Ever since his mom died a month ago, he's been in denial. He thinks he's in a video game. Kyle, I know it hurts, but you have to come to terms with your mother's death. I am aware NPC 179 has despawned. Uh, no! She's dead! Oh. Deceased! Health has decreased by 10%. Kyle, you're not in a video game! NPCs have become self-aware. Initiating creative mode. Oh, hey, Mark. Oh, my God. You scared me, dude. Oh, sorry, dude. What? Are you looking at pictures of furs on your laptop or something? <laughs> no, no. Just doing some homework, man. How did you know that? Who's that? Is that your girlfriend? Did you wet the bed again? <laughs> no. How the hell did he know that? Oh, uh, that's for me. Hi. Yes. Thank you. Finally. What'd you get? Oh, um, it's it's nothing, dude. What? Did you get something weird, like a portrait of Danny DeVito? Uh, no. That would be weird, though. How in the world did he know that? So, uh, do you have any plans today? Why do you ask? Uh, just curious. What? Are you are you planning on assassinating me or something? <laughs> As if. How the hell did he know? Mommy, guess what? I just got my first period. Honey, that's ridiculous. Boys don't get periods. Oh yeah? Well then why is there blood coming out my ass? <coughs> you know, it's probably the gerbil we put in there. The fucking what? Hey! How's everyone doing tonight? Yeah! So, uh, my brother died last night. I'm sure you all know this. But, uh, it was funny because, uh, the night before he had a cold and I told him, I said, Jonathan, you'll die if you don't stop Coffin. <laughs> so uh, I took my kids to see their grandma the other week, and uh, right before we got to her, my son, he told me, he said, Dad, I don't want to see grandma. So I told him, I said, shut up and keep digging. <laughs> Jeez, tough crowd. All right, let's get this started. We all knew Jonathan as a brother, a son, a husband, a father, but most importantly, we knew him as a good, honest man. What you doing? I'm trying to tell if you can see without your glasses. Give me back my glasses. You have to tell me if you can see first. Obviously, I'm looking right at you. But, but you're not. I'm not playing these games. Now you're yelling at a chair. You want to talk about this? Four men are at a high school reunion catching up when one of them had to go to the bathroom. The other three start talking about how successful their sons are. My son is so successful. He owns a car dealership and just gave his best friend a Ferrari. That's nothing. My son owns an airliner and just gave his best friend a private jet. Yeah, well, my son is more successful than that. He owns an architectural firm and he just gave his best friend his own castle. The fourth guy comes back from the bathroom and asks, What are you guys talking about? Oh, we're talking about how successful our sons are. Well, my son is a gay stripper. Wow, you must be disappointed with what he's done with his life. Actually, he's doing pretty well for himself. He just got a Ferrari, a jet, and a castle from his three boyfriends. That's them, officer! That's the person who's British unironically! Take them away! Shit. Charles, they found us. I am aware. Deploy the accents. Of course. 
Oui, oui. Oh, oh. Mon ami. Bonjour. Charlie. Hola. Uh -oh. Hey, wake up. You're free to go. What? Why? Somebody bailed you out. What? But I don't... I don't even know anyone. Who the fuck are you? Emmett? Okay, Emmett, did you bail me out of jail? Yeah. Well, why? I wanted to show you my hat. You bailed me out of jail because you wanted to show me your hat. Yeah, I just bought it. Wasn't my bail like $20,000? 25. So do you like no, it? No, not really. No. Fuck. You have one more wish. One more wish? I, I, I don't even know what to think of. Dude, think of all the good we could do with this one wish. World peace, end world hunger, no more war? You're right. Genie, I'm ready for my last wish. Go on. I wish for an anime girlfriend. So your mate promised to follow your advice and finally leave her scumbag boyfriend. And now she's just got back with him. Well, here's how you're gonna get her back. Step one, you're gonna ask your mate if she likes hot dogs, cold beer, and shirtless bald men. Because tonight you're gonna be attending the SummerSlam Monster Truck Rally. You ready to rumble? Step two, you arrive at the SummerSlam Monster Truck Rally, grab yourself a couple beers, a hot dog, and just as you grab that sweet hot mustard, you squirt the entire bottle into your best mate's eyes. Your mate then immediately stumbles, falling over the handrail, and landing directly in the center of the Monster Truck Rally. She finishes to guide it to safety, as a temper monster truck comes raging towards her. So now you want my help, do ya? Cause I didn't think you'd want my advice, and every time I give you my advice, you simply ignore it. So what will it be this time, mate? Will you listen to me this time? Or will you allow a temper monster truck to crush you like a French fucking crap. Boom, 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 boom. And step three, your mate promises to follow your advice. You head back home. Well done, mate. Justice has been served. There's a spider. So what you want me to do? Kill it. You saw it first. You kill it. You're the man. Since when? Unpopular opinion. Stop telling women on the internet how beautiful they are and go say it to your wife. Hey, babe. Just want to let you know that uh, women on the internet are beautiful. Dude, you're right. This place is pretty creepy. Whoa, I found a note. Whoa, was that blood? There's a lot of writing, but the last sentence says, Oh my gosh, it's here. Something about family. It's running towards me. Ah. Uh... Wait, he wrote ah as he was screaming? I guess so. Oh my god, dude, that's definitely fake. Yeah, you're probably right. My name is Mark Harris, and if you're reading this, I'm already dead. However, luckily I've spent the last five years teaching myself how to write notes under extreme stress. Now it's finally coming in handy. Unfortunately, I've now developed a weird quirk where I write out everything I'm doing as I'm doing it. All I know is that whoever finds this note will be able to save my family before the beast gets to them too. All I know is that my pregnant wife and unborn child will be safe. And I know whoever gets this note will ensure their safety. Oh my god, it's here. If you're reading this, call this number to warn my family before it gets to them too. Oh god, now it's running at me! <laughs> Hi, uh, can I get one ticket for the movie? Yeah, of course. Which one? The movie. Oh, okay. Um, are you dumb on purpose? No. Then which movie do you want to see? The movie! Right there! I asked you which one did you want to see? This one or this one? The movie too. Are you dumb on purpose? Oh! Okay. Um, well, you know what? Fuck you. Excuse me? Fuck you. The prequel to the movie. Fuck you, I excuse me. The sequel to the prequel to the movie. Your Honor, I would like to plead guilty and request the death penalty. This is, a uh, for a parking ticket. I know, I know. <laughs> so tomorrow, death penalty, or... What the fuck is wrong with you? What's up, bro? How's it going? Uh, not doing so good. My, uh, grandma just passed away. I I'm so sorry, man. I, I didn't know. You're good, bro. You're good. Did she live a long life? Not really. She was only 69. She died yesterday at 420 p.m. <laughs> Hold up, you're laughing? <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, so you think this is funny? <laughs> no, I don't, no, I don't. Hey, so I just had this weird dream and I thought I should tell you because it felt so real. You were sleeping with my girlfriend and then you also had this weird thing where you, you kept putting Lego in your mouth. 
That's so weird. Hey, bud, I got a joke for you. So how do you know when a joke is a dad joke? I don't know how. When the punchline becomes apparent. <laughs> I wish you would act more like a parent. Hey son, can you uh, take out the trash? Oh yeah, mom, of course. Let me just uh, finish up this essay real quick. Huh, I asked you to do one thing, but it's all right, it's cool. But when I'm dead, buried, deceased, gone, you're gonna miss me. I'm coming, I'm coming. So your mother tells me you're afraid of heights? No, I'm afraid of highs. What? Hello? Ah! Why does it hurt when you bite your tongue by accident, but it doesn't hurt when you bite your tongue on purpose? And why are you biting your tongue right now? Hey, bro. Yeah, bro? Close your eyes, bro. Okay, bro. What do you see, bro? N nothing, bro. That's my world without you, bro. Bro. Do you drink? No. Are you sure? I, I mean, like... I like casually, like at a party or a wedding or something like that, you know, right like my house, alone, every night. What do you drink? Just like a glass of wine at dinner. Okay, that's healthy. And then a shot of tequila. Okay. And then another shot. Um. And then a few more. And then some more. And then I usually pass out. Then I wake up and I take a few more. So the answer is yes. Yeah, I drink. Right, so your mum keeps shouting your name up the stairs, and when you call back, she simply says nothing. Here's how you're gonna get her back. Step one, you're gonna tell your mum you think you're coming down with a fever. Jungle fever. And so you booked a jungle safari adventure for a weekend break. Tell your mum she's coming too. It's gonna be a weekend to remember. Step two, you and your mum head to the safari park. You grab yourself a hot dog. You go to the gift shop. You beg your mum for a toy giraffe. Cry when she says no. And then jump aboard the safari bus. And just as your safari bus reaches the herd of wild wildebeest, you grab the wheel of the safari bus and spin it 100 90 degrees. Your mum immediately flies from her seat, lands in the middle of the herd of the wildebeest, and screams out your name at the top of her lungs. Sorry, mother, but usually when you scream my name, you have nothing to say. Usually I reply, and I'm met with complete silence. What will it be this time, mother? Will today be your day of death? Or will your screams finally be met by an actual request? Speed! Step three, your mum promises to stop shouting your name up the stairs. You simply save the day and head back home. Well done, mate. Justice has been served. Huh, apparently girls talk in a higher pitch when talking to a person they're like. Really? Hmm. <laughs> no way, that's so funny. Hang on, let me call you back. <laughs> hey. Hey, son. Yeah, Dad? Uh, me and your mom need to talk with you, so be in the living room. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be there. It's just, uh, um, could I finish this game first? I'm so close. Sure, but uh, make it quick, okay? You got it. My time has come. They figured out I'm not the innocent Christian boy they thought I was. What a shame. Years of secrets all comes down to this. It was a good run, but whatever they know about me now is irrelevant. I must use these final moments to my advantage. With only two years till my 18th birthday, victory is practically in the palm of my hands. I've tried my best to be the good guy, but I did what I had to do. I was cautious, but unfortunately nobody's perfect. Why must life be so cruel? Why must I have to face this alone? Whatever happens next is for fate to decide. I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to protect. I am an open book. But at what cost? That we will see. You needed me? Grandma died. <laughs> yes! What? Okay, sir, this is gonna hurt a bit. Okay. Okay. I'm dating your girlfriend. We're gonna have to let you go. I understand. Um, here's my gun and my badge. You're a dentist for children. Where did you get uh, this gun from? I'm afraid your mother has died, God no. Let me finish. I'm afraid your mother has dyed her hair. Oh. Yeah, it looked like shit. So I killed her. Hey, Eliza. What? Do you remember the day you were born? No, but I remember when the, the earth would open and I crawled out of hell. Hey, what's that guy doing? Oh, uh, that guy's schizophrenic. Right now he's driving. Wait, so he really thinks he's driving? Yep, everything's real to him. What's he doing now? He just stepped into an elevator. Hey, loser. What the hell did you just call me? I was just, I was just flirting.
with you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> What's up, you fat, ugly bitch? Hey, man, who's this? Oh, hey, this is Jimmy. Uh, he's a little socially awkward, but he's a good guy. Nice to meet you, Jimmy. Likewise, how's your day? Honestly, uh, it's, it's not too good. My mom just passed away, so... Bruh. <gasps> Jimmy, what the hell? Oh my, are you serious? Come on, guys. That was not the right moment to do that, Jimmy. But his mom died. That's a bra moment. Oh my god. Wow. Jimmy, how dare you? Jimmy, you need to apologize right now. Oh hell now. no, you guys are sensitive as hey, hell. Hey, asshole, she fell off a cliff, man. Yeah, and she should have had feather falling. What? Jimmy, take it back. No, that's funny. Take that's it funny. Did you Jimmy, say that? that? Put that word back in your mouth, Jimmy. Oh, I'm like that. Stop calling 911. Is that too much? Is that too much for you? We have you surrounded. Come out with your hands up. Say please. Please, please what? Please come out with your hands up. Pretty please. This is degrading. Just say it. Pretty please come out with your hands up. With cherries on top? Pretty please, with cherries on top, come out with your hands up. Say thank you. Say sorry. Sorry, sorry. And remember kids, if anyone harasses you, you just say, stop it, I don't like it. And that's the end of that. Stop it, I don't like it. All right, let's stop it, I don't like it. I'll see you in class tomorrow, guys. Give me all your fucking money. Give me all your fucking money now. Stop it. I don't like it. Uh, you're lucky you know that one. Not, not everyone knows that one, you know? You're lucky. Oh, Jesus, thank fuck. Can you show us where the candy land is? It's really right behind you, are you stupid? Why are you looking at me like that? You got a staring okay, clock? Obviously it's right behind us, we're not stupid. So what took you so long to answer? Because it's just for little kids! Yeah? If I was the kid, I would've found that in the same time anyway. Okay, it doesn't matter, you're a grown-ass man watching Dora the Explorer. So? Explore. What are you what doing? doing? What? You're playing this Dora the Explorer. Okay, I'm making doing? bank! I'm making money doing this shit! What are you doing? You're on your couch doing nothing! Oh, okay, you're okay. doing you nothing! You wanna stop this right now? You wanna stop this right now? Hey, son! No, I just... You want yeah, you on TV? TV? You want no answer to my god. Dude, you almost forgot your phone. Uh, no, my phone's right here. Then whose phone is this? I don't know. Stop grabbing random phones you see on tables. I, well, it was right next to you. Okay, not everything close to me is mine, dude. What? Not everything close to me is mine. That's pretty obvious, dude. Oh my god, why didn't you tell me, dude? Tell you? This is basic common sense. <laughs> then what do I do with this? Is that a goddamn Xbox? Yeah, what I thought was your Xbox. Since when have I ever carried an Xbox out to lunch with me? Ah, dude, I don't understand why you didn't tell me. Tell you what? That not everything around me is mine? Then who's this? Oh, is that a whole child? Yeah, your whole child. Since when have I had children? I don't know, you get around, dude. You're going to jail. For what? Kidnapping a child? Your child? That thing's not mine! <laughs> Honey, just kill it. It's a spider. He's looking at me right now. We are making eye contact. Take your shoe off and whack it with your shoe. Honey, he can hear you. He can understand what's going on. He is hyper aware of what's going on right now. Don't be dramatic, dear. It's a spider. Stay back. Stay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, to scare you. Honey, just kill it. You don't understand what's going on, okay? Please, <laughs> missus. Please don't kill me. British. I have 300 children and another 169 on the way. I, I'm not sure if that makes me want to kill you more or kill you less. Please don't squish me. I'm a simple spider. Are you seriously talking to the spider? You have no idea what's going on, okay? He's a... Shit. Holy shit! Honey, there's a huge spider in here! Please, mister. I have 300 children. Is that a pistol? Oh, God! I'll probably never get married. You know, I actually married my best friend. Really? Don't even think about it. We don't have to do it, but I'm still gonna think about it. See what you started. We're allergic to the language French. W we? Did you know that it's a scientific fact that whenever a girl talks to a guy she likes, her voice gets higher in pitch? No wonder every girl I talk to sounds like fucking Batman. I want to tell him how I feel, but I have this bad habit of always getting nervous and changing the subject. Calm yourself down, and then ask him if he wants to hang out this weekend. Okay, fine, yeah. Hey Peyton, I have a question. 
Do you think your grandma suffered when she died? What you doing? I'm trying to tell if you can see without your glasses. Give me back my glasses. You have to tell me if you can see first. Obviously, I'm looking right at you. But, but you're not. I'm not playing these games. Now you're yelling at a chair. You want to talk about this? Does anybody else have anything they want to say to Brother Don? <laughs> I'll go. Hey, Don, this is your classmate, Judy. And honestly, I kind of liked that you, and you always nice. And to be honest, if you were still alive, I'd probably let you hit right now. Oh, oh whoa, 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 what's he doing? Uh-uh, girl, he up now. He's back from the dead. Now it's time to give him... All right, now it's your turn. Let's see what your fortune is. Uh, that's weird. I I think this is a misprint or something. This because. Uh... Oh, this is an intervention, Jacob. Yeah, but how do you know? How long do I have, Doctor? A month at best. But on the bright side, you're lucky that you have these moments. Little Jimmy here is going to die in three days. You think you're fucking better than me? Think you can beat me? Watch. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Clyde. You don't know my boy Clyde? Uh, I don't think so. You about to find out, though. Yo, I got you, bro. You having a good night? Yeah, spit your game, Clyde. I came over because I thought you were cute. Yeah, he loves you. Oh. Nah, nah, he's just kidding. Yo, chill. I got this. Yeah, you got this. So what do you do? Good question, Clyde. I'm a teacher. Oh, wow, I love kids. Yeah, he got three of them. Yo, what are you doing? It's cool. I can fix this. Yeah, but he don't see him much. You just messed that up for me. Nah, you're killing it right now. She's left. So what's up though, you trying to chill? In a four-story building, there lived four residents, one on each floor. On the first floor lived the boxer. On the second floor lived the professional football player. On the third floor lived the blind man. And on the fourth floor lived the beautiful woman. One day she's in the shower and she hears a knock on the door. So she yells out, who is it? The person behind the door yells back, it's Carson, the boxer. She exits the shower with a towel and opens the door. She says, great news, I won this morning's fight. She said, that's great news, congrats. Closes the door and goes back to the shower. She hears the doorbell ring again and she yells out, who is it? The person behind the door says it's Alan, the football player. So she exits the shower with a towel and opens the door. He said, great news, my team won today's game. She said, that's fantastic news. I'll see you tomorrow. And closes the door and goes back to the shower. She hears the doorbell ring for a third time and yells out, who is it? The person behind the door yells back, it's Eddie, your neighbor. Knowing that Eddie's blind, she exits the shower without a towel and opens the door. With great excitement, Eddie says, great news, I can see now. Dude, I'm telling you, gaming is my therapy. You fucking piece of shit! Uh, hey, I'm here for the parent-teacher conference. Hey, Mr. Douglas, I just wanted to talk about this assignment that your son turned in. Wow. Exactly, it's way below the word count. Well, it also just straight up says fuck you. Your son is in first grade, so he should be using at least three to five word sentences. Let me show you some of the work from the other students. I mean, grammatically, this one isn't there, but... Holy shit! At least it's three words. Look at this one from our star student. Suck a fat one prick. Now this is a five word Why do they sentence. all hate you so much? I don't know. So a man dies and goes to hell and meets Satan. And Satan says to him, Nowadays when people die, they can choose their own hell. So I'll take you to three options and you choose where you will spend eternity. Satan takes him to the first door and he opens it. And the man sees thousands of people standing on their heads on hardwood floors. And he says, no way, this isn't for me. Next door, please. Satan takes him to the second door and opens it. And the man sees thousands of people standing on their heads on concrete floors. And he says, this is even worse than the first floor. Can I see the third room, please? Satan opens the third third door and the man sees thousands of people standing knee deep in shit drinking coffee and he says this is the place for me. Satan asks him are you sure once I close the door there's no going back and the man says I'm positive I love coffee so he steps in and Satan closes the door. Just before the man could get comfortable a loud voice on the speaker says coffee breaks over back on your heads. You to release the hostages without harming them. Well our clients want you to give them the money and let them escape. I'll handle this. Hey, what if we doubled what they're paying you? Will you stop? I'll take care of this guy. What if we tripled your salary? Would you stop? Yeah, nice try. You said triple? Repeat after me. I can do this. I can do this. I'm ready to burn some calories. I'm ready to burn some calories. I'm done eating fast food and drinking alcohol. I'm ready to burn some calories. All right. All right, describe yourself in one word. Tired. Fuck, can you do that? Well, well, it, it says here you're good at mathematics, so what's... What's 69 times 420? 37. That wasn't even close. Yeah, but it was quick. Fuck, you're hired. You're a bitch. I know. Hey, boss. Uh, I was just wondering, am I getting that promotion we've been talking about? Oh, Steve, uh, of course. You're my best employee. Steve's definitely not getting that promotion. What? What? You, you just looked at the wall and said I wasn't getting the promotion. <laughs> no, I didn't. I totally just did that. Oh, uh, you did it again. Did what again? Okay, now you're just playing dumb and it's really pissing me off. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yes, I did. And if Steve's pissed off about this, he wouldn't want me to tell him about me eating his lunch. What? You're the one who ate my lunch? How many other things have you not told me? Nothing. I swear, that's it. 
That's definitely not it. I was also the one who wrote That's What Abortion Is For in his truck after his son came out as a furry. You wrote That's What Abortion Is For in my truck? Seriously? Go ahead. Tell me something else. I guess I shouldn't tell him about how I slept with his wife either. <laughs> I just miss him so much, man. It's okay, man. He's in a better place now. Hey, guys. What's going on? His dog was killed in a hit and run yesterday. <laughs> I guess you could say his dog is... Deceased. Yes, he's dead. Where was the joke there? <laughs> I guess you could say I was... Right. Is he okay? Don't worry. He does his thing with everyone. And the thing is, is what he's saying isn't even punny. It's just always true. What year is it? <laughs> Guess you could say it's 2020. What's the passcode to your phone? Guess you could say it's uh, 8351. Well, damn, I wish my girlfriend was honest about that one. True. Guess you could say she's cheating on you. What? Hey, don't worry, man. Th that one can't be. With who? Guess you could say it's uh, Matthew. Is that true? Um, it is! What else are you hiding from me? Guess you could say he uh, killed your dog. Ooh, ooh, what? Guess you could Come say back. I ruined this friend. You have three wishes and you can wish for whatever you want, but there are three rules. You can't kill anyone, you can't ask more wishes, and you can't make anyone fall in love with you. What do you want? I want trees to feel pain. What? They don't have to make noise or anything. I just want to know that they're in pain. There are four rules. Dan goes to a bar and gets so drunk he pukes all over himself. He starts panicking because he thinks his wife is going to leave him because of this. A man at the bar tells him, just tell your wife somebody else puked on you and they put $20 in your shirt pocket to cover the cleaning. The man thinks that's a great idea and decides to give it a try. The guy makes it home and goes straight to the bathroom to get cleaned up. His wife finds the dirty clothes with vomit all over them and goes to confront him. She asked him, what is all this? He said, some guy puked all over me and gave me $20 for the cleaning bill. It should still be there. Go ahead and check it. The wife pulls some cash out of his pocket and she says, Honey, there's $40 in here. The man is confused for a second and then he says, Oh yeah, that same guy, he crapped in my pants. Your ex-boyfriend won't log out of your Netflix account. Here's how you're going to get him back. Step one, you're going to text your ex-boyfriend and ask him what he's wearing because you just booked two tickets on a summer-loving boat cruise and he's going to need some shorts, sandals and a fun-loving attitude if he's going to come along with you. Time to rekindle your love. Step two, you arrive at the boat, grab some pina coladas, and then look your ex-boyfriend in the eyes. You idiot. You really thought I'd want to get back with you? Boom. You then jump out your seat and boot your ex-boyfriend in the chest so hard that he flies into the Indian Ocean. You cry out the top of your lungs. Boom. And watch as a 60 foot blue whale swallows up your ex-boyfriend like a little bit of cheese. Bye bye, motherfucker. Boom. Step three, you simply go back to your ex-boyfriend's house, sign out of your Netflix account, and make your way home. Well done, mate. Justice has been served. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your pilot speaking, and I have news. So let's start with the good news, and that's that um, you guys get to be on the news tonight. Derek, how was your test today? Not too bad. I got... An F. That's, that's bad. Okay, then bad. Pretty bad. So you failed your test? Yep, and then Miss Henson gonna say she wanna have a one-on-one -on -one with me. Oh, okay, so she wants fight to- Fight me. What? She wants to fight me. No, she wants to have a- she wants to sit down and teach you. She wants to go over the lesson one-on-one. -on -one. Oh. I pushed her old ass down the stairs. Holy shit! Oh, man. She never got up. Okay, so get this. You make 10 meals, you're not a cook. You make 20 paintings, you're not an artist. But you kill one person! What happens to the music during a car crash? Does it stop, or does it just... I got my driver's license last week. Just Have a great day! I want to divorce! Oh my god! What did I just fucking tell you? Hey loser! Yeah you! Catch! Bullying is no joke. 
If you or someone you know have been the victim of bullying, this man is a freaking dork. That is a classic example of bullying. Nice one, four eyes. Oh, off, dude. We now return to Stabbed in the Butt, the only game show where if you get the answer wrong, you get stabbed in the butt. All right, Bradley, here's your question. What is the atomic weight of nitrogen? <laughs> get him, guys! Stab him in the butt! Well, what's your problem? No problem. That's my problem. And what's the problem? I'm a problem solver. I need a problem to solve. Okay, your finances. Did you solve that? Oh, yeah. No problem. Okay, well, do you get enough sleep at yeah. night? No major insecurities? Yeah. You're happy with your family yeah. life? You're healthy? It, done. I've solved all of those. Well, you've solved all your basic problems. Now you need fulfillment. But I got my fulfillment solving the basic problems. And why aren't you fulfilled? Because I ran out of problems. Well, that's problematic. Well, probably. No, definitely. That is a problem to solve. What is having no problem to solve? Well, how do I solve the problem of having no problems? Well, that's not my problem. It, what's your problem? Do not make any sudden movements. Do not reach for that gun on that table, because I know you're tempted. And if you comply, I will not harm you. And then I'll comply. Okay, all right, that's good. That's especially good for you, because, I mean, my aim and my reflexes are impeccable. Must have, must have been a draft. There's no windows in here. Some sort it's of not even windy out paranormal there. activity. I know you reached for the gun, man. That's not true. Who do you think you're dealing with, okay? My mom told me. My dad owns Microsoft. Your family will never... Ah! 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 Yeah, we're going to talk about what that was? It had, had a seizure. Oh, my God. Here we go with the lies again. You didn't have a seizure, all right? I saw something behind you. Oh, come on. You couldn't even see behind me. What are you talking I about? I was just Stop lying. handing you the gun. Handing me the gun? You were pulling the trigger. You, you, you were you trying to shoot me. You were trying to kill me. Why, why do I even put up with this? You're just, my, my like, dad so gets me. Is this patient sexually active? <laughs> with your mom. Triple the dosage. But, sir, that could kill him. Just fucking do it. What a beautiful view. Don't do it! Huh? Don't jump! You have too much to live for! I'm just up here for the view. Hey, is that Timmy? Yeah. Oh, I thought you did this years ago. Wait, what? Yeah, you've been alive this whole time? I'm pretty active on social media. Oh, I unfollowed you. Because you... Because I thought you were dead. Why does he think you died? Dude, sophomore year, the bathroom incident? What did you do in the bathroom? <laughs> Damn, that's embarrassing. Oh, God. How did he get through that? Dude, I'm standing right next to you. This is just how I talk. All right, we need you to release the hostages without harming them. Well, our clients want you to give them the money and let them escape. I'll handle this. Hey, what if we doubled what they're paying you? Will you stop? I'll take care of this guy. What if we tripled your salary? Would you stop? Yeah, nice try. You said triple? This box contains your greatest fear. Do your worst. I fear nothing. And that's exactly what's inside. Nothing! <laughs> Wow, our prisoners are running great this week. We should, we should get them a Christmas present. Like, I don't know, candy canes or... Candy canes? No, what? <laughs> You're gonna spike their blood sugar. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, how about sugar-free candy canes? That's a great idea. Yeah, you, you are sharp, dude. <laughs> Dad, there's a monster under my bed. There's nothing under... Wait, a mirror? <laughs> I got you! Get it? You're the monster! Uh, Dad, where's your reflection? When you and your siblings are supposed to be asleep. Yo! Beep beep la poop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shut up! You're gonna wake up, Mom! <laughs> Sleep. Dude, you're right. This place is pretty creepy. Whoa, I found a note. Whoa, was that blood? There's a lot of writing, but the last sentence says, Oh my gosh, it's here. Something about family. It's running towards me. Ah. Uh... Wait, he wrote ah as he was screaming? I guess so. Oh my god, dude. That's definitely fake. Yeah, you're probably right.
My name is Mark Harris, and if you're reading this, I'm already dead. However, luckily I've spent the last five years teaching myself how to write notes under extreme stress. Now it's finally coming in handy. Unfortunately, I've now developed a weird quirk where I write out everything I'm doing as I'm doing it. All I know is that whoever finds this note will be able to save my family before the beast gets to them too. All I know is that my pregnant wife and unborn child will be safe. And I know whoever gets this note will ensure their safety. Oh my god, it's here. If you're reading this, call this number to warn my family before it gets to them too. Oh god, now it's running at me! <laughs> What are you doing? Don't go in the basement. Wait, don't go in there? No! You never go to the basement. Okay. Thanks for the help. No problem. I'll just try this door. Hey. Oh, come on, don't grab the remote. Why not? No, no, yeah, I'll talk to him. Derek, another fight at school? Yeah. What happened? At lunch, Courtney yelled across the room. She was like, Derek's a bitch. And I was like, if I'm such a bitch, come say it to my face. And then she walked over and she got right in my face. And when she got like right here, boop, 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 boop. You hit a girl? No, no, I'm Courtney. And she had me like this. And she was like, you are a bitch. And I, and I was like, please, I'm so, I'm so sorry about everything. And then, and then she, she let go of me, and I said, if you ever... My girlfriend hasn't talked to me in three fucking days because she's mad that I hooked up with her identical twin. They're identical twins. And I told her that, I'm like, babe, how am I supposed to tell the difference? And then she brings up the argument saying, oh, well, uh, he has a penis. I was like, shut the fuck. Would you rather fight a chicken to death every time you got into your car, or an orangutan to death once a year, but you get a sword? Sir, we meant questions about the job. Oh, okay. Would you rather fight a chicken to death every time you got into your car, or an orangutan to death once a year, but you get a sword? Sir, we meant questions about the job. Oh, okay. I'm gonna jump. Hey man, what are you doing? Can't do it anymore, bro. Now man, what happened? I lost all of my money in the stock market. Have you heard of penny trading? It's incredible. What's penny trading? Penetrating your mom mayo. Any last words? If you shoot me, your penis is small. Fuck. Ah, I see. Mm, gotcha. I see what you Let me see. What? Nothing. What? Are you kidding me? Okay, this is the last straw. Anything to say for yourself? I need to tell you something before I die. What is it? You were adopt- I was adopted. You were adorable as a baby. Oh. That's why we adopted you. Hey dude, what are you doing? Oh, hey, nothing. Uh, I'm doing nothing. That's the most suspicious nothing I've ever heard. But it's true. What's behind that door? What? What? This one? Yeah, that one. Air? Uh-huh, what else? More air. Alright, I'm checking. Whoa! Oh, no, no, you cannot do that. You cannot do that. Why? Uh, cause it's, uh, it's really embarrassing. Alright, cool. I'm your best friend, so I'm sure you'll be fine to show me, right? Okay, good. Ah, no! If you check behind this door, our friendship is at risk. Whoa. Okay, now you're freaking me out. What the hell is behind this door, dude? It doesn't matter, okay? Just please leave. Yeah, you don't have a choice now. I'm checking. Officer, please, I need your help. Hi, sir, what's the emergency? My son has gone missing. Okay, sir, what's his name? Sir? Hello, sir. Sir, what's his name? Sir, I need to know your son. Shut up, I'm thinking. I just murdered your wife and kids, and now I'm gonna kill you. Please, sir, don't shoot me. I, I have a wife. I, I have kids. But I don't care that you... Did you not hear what I just said? Did you kill the woman? No, but I definitely murdered that pussy mayo. Ha 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 Put your hands behind your back. Psst. Want some drugs? Depends. You sell? Depends. You buy? Depends. You a cop? Depends. Are you a cop? No. Well, alright then. Alright.
You have to rest! Okay, uh, before I make my final diagnosis, I need to make one final test. Oh, okay, Doc. Hit me with it. <coughs> testing! Testing! One, two, three! Testing! Testing! One, two! <coughs> you have a... Hey, Dad, I just got a five-headshot kill streak. Oh, wow. I'm proud of you, little man. Good job. Thanks, Dad. So you're going to let your child play those types of video games? Yeah, so? Aren't they a little too violent? Yeah, but it's not that big of a deal. I'm not going to let my child grow up as a prude. Hey, Dad, I just found a cool sword and I started chopping people's heads off. That's awesome, little man. Keep it up. Don't you think that's going to, like, mess them up in the future? That's a myth. There's absolutely no connection between violent kids and violent video games. Hey, Dad, I joined the cult. Hey, hey what? Now I'm harvesting the blood of our firstborn children to please our masters. Uh, okay, what game is the? Hey, hey, stop, bro. It's just a stupid video game. Hey, Dad, now I'm a ruthless dictator. I just convinced my army to commit mass genocide and discover new ways to torture our victims. Uh, okay, little man, it's time for bed. No more video games for the night. Hey, Dad, I couldn't go to sleep, but I remember staring into my victims' eyes and watching their soul leave their body. And I don't have insomnia. Are you proud of me, Dad? Dad, are you proud of me? Dad, are you, are you proud of me? Oh my God, he's dead. <gasps> There's only one man that can solve this crime. Damn it! Oh no, what a bummer! Afraid there's been a terrible accident. Your wife is dead. But she only just went out to get milk. I'm so sorry. I can't. No. No. I can't have coffee without milk, I just can't. Hey, nice to meet you, I'm Clyde. You don't know my boy Clyde? Uh, I don't think so. You about to find out, though. Yo, I got you, bro. You having a good night? Yeah, spit your game, Clyde. I came over because I thought you were cute. Yeah, he loves you. Oh. Nah, nah, he's just kidding. Yo, chill. I got this. Yeah, you got this. So what do you do? Good question, Clyde. I'm a teacher. Oh, wow, I love kids. Yeah, he got three of them. Yo, what are you doing? It's cool, I can fix this. Yeah, but he don't see him much. You just messed that up for me. Nah, you're killing it right now. She left. So what's up, though? You trying to chill? Hey, what's up? I'm pregnant. We are pregnant. Wait, wait, babe, what's wrong? I'm just... I'm just feeling sad for the kid. Oh, don't feel sad. No, because... I know what it's like to grow up without a dad. Without a dad? What do you mean? Here's the baby. Oh, thank you! I'm sorry, but your wife didn't make it. Then send me the one my wife did make. So your mate made the same joke as you, but this time slightly louder. And now the whole room thinks he's the king of comedy. Well, here's how you're gonna get him back. Step one, you're gonna tell your mate to get naked. And put on their wetsuit, because you're gonna take him on an underwater diving adventure at the Great Barrier Reef. Step two, you head to the Great Barrier Reef, take a couple selfies, get into your diving gear, and dive down as deep as you fucking can. And as soon as you and your mate reach the maximum diving depth of 130 feet, you rip the oxygen tank right from his thieving little back. You listen here, you stinky little world. If you wanna get out of this action-packed underwater adventure alive, you're gonna promise me one thing and one thing only. You will never, ever, 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 ever steal my Jokes again, Capiche? Step three, your mate apologizes for stealing your jokes, promises to never do it again, you hold his hand, and you swim him all the way back up to the surface. Well done, mate. Justice has been served. Oh my god, dude, I have horrible news. What's going on? What's wrong? I don't know how to tell you. Okay, just calm down and tell me. Okay, you might want to sit for this. Okay. Someone stole all our chairs! <laughs> Dude, these fortune telling papers are legit. Oh yeah? Why? What does it say? It says, you farted 32 seconds ago. <laughs> Dude, that totally happened. Dude, that is disgusting. Well, what does yours say? I don't know. Let me see. Oh, it's just the fart thing. Again. Okay. I have so much stuff I should probably do today, but I don't want to do today. So let's make that future means problem. Dad, Dad! Yeah, what's up? How's your party going? Everyone wants to know how long you can hold your breath for. What? Everyone wants to know how long you can hold your breath for. In the pool. About four minutes. Four minutes? Yeah, well, it's my record. That's terrible! Terrible? What do you, how is that terrible? Well, Jackson's been in there holding his breath for two and a half hours. <laughs> two and a half hours! Just gonna check and see if the house is safe before I go to bed. Hey, are there any stabbers down there? No, it's okay. Okay, good.
Dad, there is a monster under my bed. What are you talking about? You know my bed? Yeah. There's a monster under it. Monsters aren't real. How come one's under my bed? What's he look like? Why? You like him? You want me to holler at him for you? I am terrified. I am not going Go to bed. No way. Go to bed. Hell no. I'm not going to bed. There's a monster Monsters are not real. How come one's under my bed? Please, go to bed. With a monster? No way. You go lay with him. You're the one who likes him talking about what he look like. Go to bed. You go to bed. I ain't going to bed. Derek, go to bed. I'm serious. There's a monster in there. It was under my bed. I looked under there and he was looking at me like this. I said, what the f Go to bed. Come with me. He was asking about you. Like, now. Okay, so get this. You make 10 meals, you're not a cook. You make 20 paintings, you're not an artist. But you kill one person! You know what be cute? You and Craig. I mean, that shit sound kinda good. Ew, me and Craig? Hell no! Oh yeah, that shit's stupid. That shit nasty. How could you do something like this to me? How could you cheat on me? After everything we've been through, we have kids together! We raised them! Family together, and you threw it Hi. Up. Hi. My name is Sarah. I'll be your waitress today. Can I get you started with any drinks? Sure. Um, I would love the Shrek's revenge on my anus, please. Ah, uh, yes, a house <laughs> Thank favorite. Thank you. <laughs> ah. hey man, you look kind of upset. Is there anything you want to talk about? Why the fuck is there so many letters in Wednesday? Shit, you right there. There's a lot of letters in there. Oh, that shit say Wednesday's day. It was say Wednesday. It says Wednesday. So your house cleaner's stolen your sister's airpods. Here's how you're gonna get them back. Step one, you're gonna call your cleaner. You wanna ask her to come round at about 8 p.m. for an evening cleaning session. Tell her that you covered your house in shit and that you plan on doing a bagpipe practice rehearsal so she should bring some headphones, or in this case, some airpods. Step two, when she arrives, invite her in as normal. Let her walk through the hallway a little bit and then silently lock the door behind her so she has no escape. Then an hour or so into the cleaning session, you're gonna cut the lights and cut the electricity. And now the games begin. Step five, you're gonna run through the house screaming from room to room, banging on the walls, smashing the windows and smashing every glass in sight until bang you crawl up to her legs in the pitch black like a fucking spider and you just latch onto her ankle she won't know what the fuck's happening you're gonna make her feel like she's trapped inside a black vortex from hell and then bang she'll probably just pass out from fear you grab your airpods and you send her off home sorry girl you should have never stole the airpods justice has been served oh i hate being so attractive girls always cat call me when i'm biking get out of the way she wants me. Remember, sir, there's no right or wrong answers, okay? All right, all right, first image. Do you find her attractive or not? How old is she? No, 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 why would that matter, sir? I'm gonna say no, she's uh, clearly too young. All right. Surely she's gotta be underage, a minor. Last image. Now that's, that's attractive. That's, that's attractive. That's a child, sir! Oh, Hi, I'd like to speak to the manager. Yes, that's me. Is there a problem? Yes. I'm very lonely. Oh, um... How's your day been? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah pretty good. I tried calling earlier, but I couldn't get through. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, None of my friends ever call or text me. Uh... Do you know why? Uh, no, no. Oh, so, but I think you do, Jim. What? I think you do. Uh, have a guess, Jim. Uh... It, Have a it, guess. Is it, is it because I sold you a faulty phone? Bingo, Jimothy! I want to re- oh, never mind. Hey, go f yourself. Our call is important enough, and we will connect you with the next available agent. Ugh, it's been over an hour. These guys are the worst. Maybe you're the worst. Aren't you a pre-recording? Uh, aren't you a jerk? I mean, I, I, I didn't mean it personally. Everything's about you, you, you. I mean, it's been over an hour. Oh, it's been over an hour. you with a baby voice, because you're, because you're being a little baby. Hey, now you're being mean. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry to hear that. How dare you say that about my mother? Sorry, this, this is all pre-recorded. You didn't say anything about my mom, did you? If you press that button, you will receive one million dollars. But someone that you don't know will die. If I press it more than once, do I get more money? Well, yes, but then more people. Dun dun. Hey, mom. Have you been crying? Don't worry, I just get like this when the seasons change and the uh, flowers pop up. Oh look, it's the ugly stinky boy back in my garden this year. Oh, what are you gonna cry? Make a TikTok about it. Have a great day. I want to divorce! Oh my god! What did I just fuck?
fucking tell you. Hey, Dad, can I hang out with Tommy today? Uh, do you want me to say yes? How was this a yes? No, no. Jeez, okay, no. Louder. Jesus, no. Tommy, I'm sorry, bro. Hey, dude, what are you doing? Oh, hey, nothing. Uh, I'm doing nothing. That's the most suspicious nothing I've ever heard, but it's true. What's behind that door? What? What? This one? Yeah, that one. Air? Uh-huh. What else? More air. All right, I'm checking. Whoa! Oh, no, no, you cannot do that. You cannot do that. Why? Uh, because it's, uh, it's really embarrassing. All right, cool. I'm your best friend, so I'm sure you'll be fine to show me, right? Okay, good. Ah, no! If you check behind this door, our friendship is at risk. Whoa. Okay, now you're freaking me out. What the hell is behind this door, dude? It doesn't matter, okay? Just please leave. Yeah, you don't have a choice now. I'm checking. <sighs> what in the hell? You never listen, do you? Sister's boyfriend keeps stealing your Calvin Klein underwear. Well, here's how you're gonna get him back. Step one, you're gonna tell your sister it's your pet turtle Tyson's birthday. You wanna go bowling this weekend to celebrate, and she should come and tag along too, and bring a boyfriend, Lamar. It's gonna be a turtle-tastic time. Step two, everyone arrives and gets ready to bowl. You look over to Lamar and say, I'm hungry, I want a hot dog, you feel me? Boom, Lamar turns around to grab your hot dog and you immediately sprint over to a bowling ball. You fill one of the finger holes with industrial strength, quick drying super glue, and pass it back to Lamar. Quickly, Lamar, it's your turn to bowl. Lamar, look. Is the bowling ball. His body attached by the super glue flies along with it. You let onto his trousers and underwear like a fucking hellhound and use his own momentum to tear them from his body as he flies. Boom! Then, look, you just check the label of his underwear, see if they are yours, and if they are, you take him on home. Well done, mate. You just got your pants back. Okay, me next. What's my sign? Okay, when's your birthday? July 4th. Oh, you're a cancer. There. There's one called Cancer? Yeah. Okay, uh, what does the symbol look like? It's, um, it's a 69. It's, it's like, it looks, it looks like, looks like a 69, but sideways. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm not. Okay, well, what, what's the animal that represents us? It's, um, it's a crab. I got crabs now? Are you... <sighs> so, like, what are, what are... Characteristics. What are the traits of a cancer? You guys tend to be like emotional, overly sensitive, cry babies. Four story building, there live four residents, one on each floor. On the first floor lived the boxer. On the second floor lived the professional football player. On the third floor lived the blind man. And on the fourth floor lived the beautiful woman. One day she's in the shower and she hears a knock on the door, so she yells out, Who is it? The person behind the door yells back, It's Carson, the boxer. She exits the shower with a towel and opens the door. She says, Great news, I won this morning's fight. She said, That's great news, congrats. Closes the door and goes back to the shower. She hears the doorbell ring again and she yells out, Who is it? The person behind the door says it's Alan, the football player. So she exits the shower with a towel and opens the door. He said, great news, my team won today's game. She said, that's fantastic news. I'll see you tomorrow. And closes the door and goes back to the shower. She hears the doorbell ring for a third time and yells out, who is it? The person behind the door yells back, it's Eddie, your neighbor. Knowing that Eddie's blind, she exits the shower without a towel and opens the door. With great excitement, Eddie says, great news, I can see now. Repeat after me. I can do this. I can do this. I'm ready to burn some calories. I'm ready to burn some calories. I'm done eating fast food and drinking alcohol. I'm ready to burn some calories. All right. You have one more wish. One more wish? I, I don't even know what to think of. Dude, think of all the good we could do with this one wish. World peace, end world hunger, no more war. You're right. Genie, I'm ready for my last wish. Go on. I wish for an anime girlfriend. Get the fuck on the ground, buddy. I'm not gonna say it again. Get on that. What? They called us here because he's about to jump. Oh! Oh! Grandpa, Grandpa! What's that, Sonny? I found a nickel on the ground. Well, that's just wonderful. Remember to put it in your piggy bank. I also found a key buried in your backyard. Oh, uh, well, don't pay no mind to that key. Grandpa doesn't know anything about that. And then I found an abandoned shed that the key unlocks. Oh, uh, that, that sure is strange. And then I went in the shed, and I found a hidden door that leads underground. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't be doing that now. And then I found a shotgun, and a bunch of skeletons, and one of them had Grandma's clothes on it. I miss Grandma. Uh, me, me too. Crazy how she just, uh, disappeared like that. <laughs>
And then there was one guy that looked all tired and hungry, and he begged me for help. Well, what'd you do? I shot him. Well, that's just wonderful. All right, everybody, if you um, follow me this way, um, if you look to your left here, you have somebody that is supposed to be doing their homework, but is instead scrolling on TikTok. Um, go ahead and take your pictures, and then we're going to keep moving on.